Hello everyone, it's me Tasnim Lokman from Sina Daily and you're watching Top News Podcast with Okay, today we have a super super famous exciting person. I'm excited to meet him. Maybe he'll like give me some freebies. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's just let's just go. We have the famous, generous, kind-hearted and super like I would say a super influencer. He is Lim Pinya. Hi, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here today. Okay, I feel like I'm super like fangirling right now because uh-huh. you're just like so cool and relaxed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I'm always like l- like that, you know. Okay. In, like on on content, maybe I will I will be more like uh, s- I say more thing, but okay. in 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 like daily life, I'm very quiet and oh, really? br- such you, a boring person. Are sometimes. you like secretly an introvert? I am actually okay. I do a sixteen personality test. Okay. I'm actually I. I'm I person. Wow. Yeah. But I do notice many of the content creator, uh-huh. they're I. Okay. Many. On camera, je, glamour. Yeah. It's not glamour, but it's they they have more things to say, okay. right? But mostly, content creator that I know is I. Okay. Uh, they are, they could be more uh, in the planning stage, but when on camera, they they can be. Saying saying a lot of things Okay. Yeah. Who who are all these eyes so in your team? So one of my good friend, a uh, high girl founder, uh-huh. Ivor. So wow, she's, she's confirmed is I person. Wow. So she's quiet. She is mindful, but okay. when on camera, you will say, Ivor try so you don't have to. She's yeah. talking a lot of things, doing a lot of reviews, right? But in real life, person. She's really quiet. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Name dropping your friend, super famous Ivor as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So you know what? Um, let me just tell you guys, we're here because Pinyang won. Oh, uh, sorry. He, you won, right? I I won, did. Right? Okay. I did. Yeah. So he is the 2024 TikTok Shop Creator of the Year. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, how you, do know, you, feel? you know. You know. Yeah. I, I I felt super happy. Okay. Um, it was my bucket list last year. Okay. So. Many people know Pinyang. Pinyang is the guy that manifesting. Yeah. So you know, last year, 2023, I was invited to, to the award, uh-huh. right? So I, I brought a bag cooning there. <laughs> so I purposely bought a yellow color bag. I just want to make a statement. Uh-huh. But like, only my close friend knows. Because okay. I took a photo and I just want to make a statement like, next year, uh-huh. if I can nominate, also good already. Okay. So, so that was my bucket list. And this year, um, Last year, I don't do know how to start, right? I, I know that TikTok is the, the right place to go, but I just don't know how to start. And this year, Ramadan, mm. I make my first move and every single day, just try and error, learn from every single life. Mm-hmm. And I make it. I make it. I'm so okay. happy. Okay. Um, maybe not everyone knows. Mm. No, okay, no. Not everyone is on TikTok. Right. Okay, so please tell our viewers and re- uh, listeners who yeah. are may who may not be on TikTok, mm-hmm. what actually do you sell on TikTok shop? All right. So, uh for for me personally, I sell a lot of local brands. Okay. So, the first product that I I, I, I was doing is Bulan Bintang. Okay. So, I uh, that one during Raya times, I also do for like Habib, I sell Go Bar as well. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I sell Go People a lot of time they, they often think that oh TikTok you cannot sell high ticket item but uh-huh. actually you can. Okay. Yeah, I also sell for like uh makanan makanan or FMB. You you can think of uh, we have popcorn, we have quick bowl, we have uh misi food, all the FMB products. Okay. Yeah, I also do for Montego. Uh-huh. Uh, many are local brands. Are you like the ambassador for all these items or you're I'm just not. okay a feel a feel? Oh, that's a really good one. Yes. So when Bulan Bintan reached out to me and said hey. Oh, I can pay you to do advertisement. Okay. Right? I can pay you. How much is your advertisement fee, right? Yeah. As a content creator. I just said to them, I don't want I don't want any single cent. Okay. I just want to sell. I just want to learn how to sell. Okay. Can you give me this opportunity? Then they go back and, and pitch to their management and yeah, I got it. Okay. So I'm not I'm not I'm not the ambassador. I'm just okay. like mini ambassador. Okay. Because I go live and talk about the brands. Uh-huh. I talk about the product unique selling point and I try to get as many sales. Yeah, I, s- I try to get like cheaper, cheapest price lah. Okay, okay. Bring back some values to my followers. Okay, yeah. all right, that's cool. But I think like um, aside from that, mm. um, let me just retract. Okay. Okay. So you are the CEO and co-founder of Good Good Food Good Foodie Media. Yes. Okay. Um, you m- you guys may know Pinang Foodie, mm-hmm. KL Foodie. Yeah. That's yours, right? That's my product. Yes. Okay. Can we just like head on to the fact that like, how you started at mm. the young age of 
twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty three. Yeah. Twenty four. Twenty three. That's insane, mm. right? Yes. <laughs> so so funny story is I I was working in Tencent. It's a China tech company. Um, that time, you know, WeChat. Yeah. So the parent company of WeChat is Tencent. Okay. So that time we were building a food app in Malaysia. Okay. So I was the uh, intern, and I turned to full time. I was in Tencent building the food app for almost three years. Okay. But the product didn't launch. Okay. Yeah. So I was offered to join WeChat Pay. Okay. I didn't go. Then I back to my hometown of Penang. Okay. So around around Penang. <laughs> yes. Uh. So I I was born in Aitam. Uh, Aitam. My IC still Aitam. Then I I I I just actually I just want to make extra five ring a day. Okay. So I I I ask myself how do I start right? So I I was just searching how do I make money online, so that time people said you can make money online blogging. Okay. So I started my I started purchasing my first domain pinangfree dot com okay. and I just start to write article because I I prepare everything, I do market research how to launch the app, so I just don't want to waste my effort. Mm-hmm. A good three years in Tencent, I just want to try it on my own and. Every single day, at that time I balik Penang, I have full time. So after work, I will go around and cover like local food. Okay. So I will do content like top ten breakfast, top ten uh-huh. nasi kanda in Penang, top ten must try Penang food the cap Penang. Okay. So I will do video. Uh, that's how I started. So I started with the aim to make five ringgit a day. Okay. It's about you can you can earn money through bloggings, right? So that's how I started. So. But within a year, we got one k followers. Yeah, so okay. slowly, slowly, then we expanded to more cities. Yeah. But I noticed that um, okay, you started out on blog on a website, right? Mm. Uh, how did you transition to social media? Yeah. Because like social, me- your social media is huge, right? Mm. How do you how did you like strategize and transition to social media platforms? Yeah, yeah. So we always look at what social media want at that time. Okay. So the time social media wants like square video. That time was really yeah. popular. You will see square video with a black bar on top, right? We put like best nasi kanda in Penang, uh-huh. the top bar. Then we our video is like uh, landscape mood. But now TikTok is everything is like portrait mood. Yeah. Right? So we witness the fast pace of social media change every single year or every single quarter. Yeah, exactly. So we try to see what the platform wants. Uh, so I try to study like hacking like what the platform wants or down the one short form video. That time the one long form video. So we try to hack the algorithm, social media. So as a media owner, we try to see what is trending right now, and we try to fit what the what the platform wants. Then I think most importantly is the values that we give to our audiences. So as Penang Foodie, we always try to find the best and trending food. So we always try to position ourselves. We are the one that cover those things that you haven't even figured out. Even you are local. Okay. So that's our brand ourselves. Okay, nice and. Like from there, you have actually like reached one hundred million viewers Be each month. Each, each month, yeah. One hundred million people across month. Southeast Asia. Asia, yes. Like so, some some key <laughs> numbers. Okay. Um, in our groups, we have thirty million social media followers. Okay. On TikTok itself, we have about ten million followers. So every single day, we have about twenty products, twenty brand, twenty babies from Penang Foodie, KL Foodie, Johor Foodie, Hala Foodie. Borneo, uh-huh. Sabah Sarawak, we have Kedah now, we have East Coast now, we have Malaysia Homie where we cover home and living, uh-huh. we have Car Buddy where we cover car. Wow, Malaysia Homie is also yours? Yes. Oh my god! So if you notice right, all the branding end with IE, uh-huh. like Malaysia Homie, Trail Rookie, Picky. Okay, we that's, try to your, bear, yeah, that's yours. IE, that's uh-huh. our IP. Okay. So yes, so every single day we have about 60 people, 60 editor in our team uh-huh. to do content daily. That's how we inspire, help people find the best thing on the internet, help people to find houses, property, yeah. food hunting. That is but our day to day. How do you get, like, is everyone mm-hmm. in your team, your content creators, are they your, like, staff? Yeah, full time. Full time. So, so more yang everyone's doing on the ground work too are your full time Full time. Yeah, it's Kitab wow. and Mumbai full time. Uh, we hire them as a full time staff. Wow, that's so team. inspiring. Yeah, so I still remember when we first started, we have about three people my fiance, my brother, so three co founders. We have okay. two interns. And f- today we have about 70 people and okay. in five ASEAN countries now. Yeah. Wow. What's mm. your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite state? I mean, sorry, uh, country. 
uh, of course Malaysia, Malaysia. <laughs> food wise uh, yeah I think Mal- Malaysia is really good okay. um, Penang shout out to my, my hometown Penang is good but other city as well we have so many amazing food right yeah. so I am proud that we are doing the work the work to promote Malaysia mm-hmm. to, to the world is yeah. there any like um, you know when you go through for me as a journalist every day it's something new because we discover something amazing and something yes, new or something is. scary but like for you right like what do you on a daily scale what do you discover so, so at foodie side okay. so yeah we always cover like so we always bring our like, hidden 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 uh-huh. after that is no no longer no, hidden, hidden yeah <laughs> but yeah we pride ourselves doing that right we try to find new things that actually our joy is coming from we help, we, we're helping the machi machi pachi pachi the street street vendor the cut tepi jalan yeah. They haven't got a voice to tell their story. So mm-hmm. people that are selling products that are kabut. Yeah. So that our day to day, we 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 try to find joy. That's our mission. All of our team are really passionate because they know that it's impactful. Mm-hmm. So every single day, we find wow, this uh maybe ex air stewardess got retrenched and want to make a living. So they sell nasi lemak the cut jalan maklis the cut pinang. So we quickly uh give them a voice, make a video for free. Like you, you are a journalist, you know, yeah. you know, you, you are doing this, yeah. right? That's the mission to cover the stories. So that's how day to day looks like. La. Okay. Mm, always right. new things, always, always new inspiring story. So we learn a lot from, from all the SME or micro SME okay. in Malaysia. Okay. Yeah. To, but to be here where you are today, right? Mm. Like I'm sure there were challenges throughout the journey, right? Mm. Could you share with us and maybe inspire some people out there trying to yeah. make it big? Yeah. So um, we started from Penang. Okay. So we, but we always have the vision to expand to multiple cities. So I still remember um, when we first expand to Johor, uh-huh. we ten people fly to Johor. Mm. So the challenges is we are not local. We cannot find the best food, right? So the challenges is whenever we wanna expand to the different city, we have to engage with local. We have to find local that really can tell amazing food. So that's our challenges. We try to find local that has passion to share the same mission. Mm. So. We our expansion we go very I would say slowly slowly a slow pace because we need to find someone that know our mission mm, that's our challenge okay. even in Southeast Asia also so but if you expand to other country every culture is different like in, in in Bangkok in Thailand we find we found that um, in order to do business there it's very challenging people there only want to work with locals you don't speak in Thai native they don't work with you yeah. I think I think very similar. Yeah. to every other region right okay but as long as we try to convey them our message our mission uh, slowly lah slowly but we, we learn from the hard way through the hard way okay uh for the three four years we started bangkok foodie we didn't monetize well mm-hmm. this is break even job so we started hire locals to do that because so c- they speak in thai native mm-hmm. they know the culture better so this is what i learned okay mm, in expanding it, it might look Glamorous! Wow, Fudi has so many states or uh, so many countries, but uh-huh. in fact, it's not easy. Like we have Singapore, it's not easy as well. Mm. Okay. What well, was the biggest? Um, I don't know challenges in Singapore. I think Singapore? people, people, okay. people is is not uh is is my challenge because sometimes as a founding team we are not there every single yeah. day. So, so these are challenges that I face. You um, you are not able to interact with them. Like I, I, I can only commit like maybe once a week we okay. do a inter we do a discussion right uh-uh. but we have so many city um yeah lah yeah lah yeah. people it's, it's not easy because we are not there okay if we are in present then it's fine yeah so so after that I learned that maybe I should strengthen Malaysia first okay I should really strengthen then if only one day I can m- maybe travel to other countries I'll be stationed there for two months mm-hmm. To to build together with the team, I, I feel like that's that's the that's the way I want to go. Cause okay. I think for 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 foreign team, they really want to see the founder that to be there okay. to fight together. I I fight together with my Penang team, my KL team. And we were really on ground, mm-hmm. so they see how we work. Then they learn from us. Then so that the SOP is, is there. Yeah. Then they they can do. For now, these are my challenges. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, so um, I'm going back to TikTok. TikTok, All right. TikTok has been a significant platform for your 100%. brand. 100%. Uh, why do you choose TikTok as your primary channel? And yeah. how has it impacted your content strategy? Right. So, funny story also. Okay. Uh, back, in, back in the day, 2018, TikTok came to 
to my Penang office and say, hey, please open more channel. Right? But that time, we, we thought of like, we didn't see, we didn't foresee, we didn't vision how TikTok would grow to a mm-hmm. certain way, right? Yeah. We, we said, we said, actually, I said, I said no to TikTok. Oh. I, I, I don't have time. Pre-COVID, I don't want, right? mm, I don't want, I don't want to open so many channels. I, I don't have manpower to really take care of so many channels, right? Uh-huh. So I only open a main foodie channel where I publish like Penang, Kuda, KL, all the food, Johor, we post to the same channel. Okay. But after that, uh, it's my instant regret. Lah. Uh-huh. So, so uh, I think last two years, we're going all out. So every channel that we own, we focus. Our main focus is TikTok. Because okay. TikTok is different to other channels. I think a lot, a lot of different angles is different. Uh-huh. First thing is, is the mission is TikTok is inspire, uh, spark joy, and, and inspire creativity, spark joy. Right, TikTok be it is a uh, is regardless how many followers you have. I think that's the beauty of TikTok. As long as you do the right content, you in, you inspire creativity, spark joy. Your content get FYP. So this is why I, I love about that model. Everybody has an equal chance mm-hmm. to get their video to get FYP. Mm-hmm. So I I talk to my name cannot. <laughs> we have to open at full force. Okay. And TikTok is different. TikTok is shopper payment. Uh-huh. So all the content. So we are very focused on content, but at that time we are not focused on commerce. Uh, so and a lot of brands, even micro SME or big brands, they are looking for ROI la. Okay. So video have so many views. What's my ROI, right? So TikTok is the only platform you can track the video that generated how many sales that you you help to the SME mm-hmm. la. So um, I talked to my team. Everybody has to open and full force. Then. Our our followers really grow from there. We 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 have we are on many other platforms, but we see the traction. Uh-huh. TikTok has the highest in terms of growth rates and mm. viewership rates. Okay. Mm. So mm. what's what's the what's the much like magic? Um, what's the magic power of growing the followers? Yeah, I think I think, I think the 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 answer is TikTok has so many users. Okay. So it's technically many, many, many users are in Malaysia. So whatever you post, sometimes uh-huh. it get reach to so many people. So one thing, platform has many users ready, ready, uh-huh. many, many ready, people ready consuming. users. Mm. Uh-huh. So the thing is, you do the right content, right? So because TikTok is, they always send those things that you are, you are, you are. You, it's it based on your interest. Yeah. So, so that one, the targeting is 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 truly amazing. Yeah. So if you love food. It's always so food. If the fashion, cosmetic, it was your so algorithm, fashion. right? Yeah, yeah. So okay. that that's the that's the that's the thing that we found out. So we try to come up with more niche. Mm-hmm. We can try to come up with car media that talks about car. Uh-huh. Then our vision is, um, right now we are using foodie to sell makanan makanan untuk micro SME dekat Malaysia. So our vision is we use content to convert the viewer, the audiences into to commerce shop. by yeah. Into shoppers shop, lah. Shop, shoppable content. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. If only it was that easy for everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. It's that's why I I started picking out. So I I want to I want to try first, experiment first, uh-huh. then so that I can confidently tell my teams. Okay. Yes, this one boleh boleh jalan. Okay. So like, um, this is question. I think quite interesting, and I think a lot of people could benefit from right, it. What's that? Like, what are the key components of the affiliate creator model, business model mm. on TikTok that you're implementing? Yeah, yeah. I think one thing, uh, first thing, being on foodie side, we don't have our own products. Okay. So what we can do is we become a affiliate. Uh-huh. So affiliate, I think an- another easier words for people to understand is stockist business. Okay. Tapi dulu stockist, we have to buy stock from the business from the business owner yeah. kan but the beauty of affiliate is you don't have to buy stock okay you don't have to store many stock that got your house whatever sales that you made you get a you get a card you get a commis- commission uh-huh. so that's the what i love about it as long as you know about the products you can go to things you can do back cooling content uh-huh. you just do, do product review and can, you can put a back cooling uh-huh. then people can buy through your video and it's trackable okay so I, I use that now. I experimenting using foodie account uh-huh. and the result has been great. Second thing, component is you can do live. So I, I started starting selling Bula Mintang uh-huh. on my TikTok. So every single day, on a 30 day du- during Ramadan, I go live every single day. Okay. I 
I utilize live feature. So, uh, so I, I just set up a space and I do live. I, I stunjo all the baju color dekat belakang uh-huh. and just talk keep about. Keep on engaging with them. Keep la. on engaging. Uh, so you can use the give live stream giveaway feature. You can use the voucher. Okay. So many components. Uh, I get a voucher from brands and I get a voucher from TikTok site. So uh, interact. Uh-huh. So the best thing about TikTok is people, your supporter buy things from you and they, s- they still say thank you. Okay. You know, th- it's beautiful. People They're shopping con- with you, but you're they are the ones saying yes. thank you for y- selling it. Terima kasih pinyang. I dapat harga yang tersebut. Okay. So how how interesting it is, right? Because um, because they love it. They love it. Uh, the audiences love it when you engage with them. Mm-hmm. I call like people that ask my question. Let's like, just say, Zakri, terima kasih beli malam ini. Apakah apa solan? What do you have? Apakah pinyang beli? Uh, tolong you uh-huh. sebelum you purchase the product. So I try to learn about the products and I show them, I turn you the colors. So, but I, I used to follow my dad. Okay. Flashback some stories. Okay. I used to follow my dad to sell quality the pasar pagi. Okay. So I know how to, you need to do, really know about the product, do demonstrations. And I do, now I do on, on my life lah. Okay. So now reverse. Last time I used to follow my dad sell things at pasar pagi or pasar malam. Uh-huh. Now my dad, they Follows watch you. <laughs> Watches you on using his phone. Okay. So I know. I see his name. I know he's supporting me. Oh, okay. So really touching lah, right? Yeah. Dulu I follow my dad now. My dad every single night, if I'm doing live, uh-huh. he will be there. Oh, so nice. Yes, he will be there. My mom will be there. After the live, they call will call me. Tutors. I see the that. <laughs> yeah. They, no, I see. They, no, I was, they say, oh, today not bad lah. Got a thousand people watching uh, they, they like post-mortem with you lah the performance yeah how is it how is it <laughs> i think you should do this okay i think you should do that i think just now you are like you look tired mm-hmm. uh, maybe you should take a rest okay something like that oh, mm. so your parents are watching you perform i'm yes. uh, not perform sorry working like, working working. Ah, working so but they know day to day i bought foodie kerja uh-huh. like after life after kerja i go live okay uh, some, really uh but i see that name i know that I have to perform lah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, motivate you to do better. Yeah, every single night, man. Oh, so nice. Mm. So like, uh, how do you think this, like the whole TikTok punya affiliate and live and everything, the business model, um, will benefit the local micro SMEs? Wow, wow. This is what I learned because I do Young Malaysia. I interview local entrepreneur. Yeah. So I also ask them, hey, affiliate memang boleh jadi ke? Right? Uh-huh. So what they told me is, the result is amazing. Okay. So what they do is, as a brand owner, you can give free sample mm-hmm. to affiliate, like Ping Yang ataupun others creator. Okay. So you give them free sample, then they will review your products. Yeah. So they can review. Okay, they really test, test and see the product USB, and they do a video. And then ask them what's the, what's the upside. So some video. So about every single day for brand, they can send. If there's request, they can send fifty. The tagger fifty lah. Okay. So you know how amazing it is. is once after a month, you will get few, few uh, like a thousand videos. Always UGC, and people trust UGC more than like KOL mm. influencer girls. Yeah. And it's it's organic. People really test and learn about the products, then do sharing. Some v- videos for the micro SME uh-huh. or local brands. Let's just say maybe one video, they can get 50k to 100k jualan. Mm-hmm. So it's like you get so many people, so many voices that got TikTok, talk about your brands. Yeah. And you pay them, it's about the effort. And you pay them through every single jualan and you make, you, you re- you're probably sharing the other creator. Mm-hmm. That's, is, I think that's, that's really amazing. Mm-hmm. It's about more and more people talk about brands. If you love that. And more and more people buy and they can do video and more and more the, the snowball effect is there yeah then do do about the brands you send send sample to the people and like now brand uh, how i work with brands okay what is your top five most, most performing brand can you send to me okay and they can also invite creators and maybe the top fans about your products come to their live studio also so sometimes i do live at my at dr Cardin, not uh-huh. even my own channel oh okay yeah so they invite me to do at their channel so I just talk about the brand. So this is really positively Im- impact and help the brands. Okay. So now they have more people s- help help them sell. So they can also get feedback from the creator or people that test their products. Okay. Uh, like like I, I did live with Cairo Amin, right? So he, he told me, Dulu, this pineapple tart, they don't even have like 
the you know they just they just send it with a like normal plastic they uh-huh. don't show the branding they sh- don't show how many calories they don't show how, what are the flavors so 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 the brand really listen to the feedback of the creator they revamp and revamp now okay. it's very proper products dada par some some of the brands mm-hmm. right proper way okay then now they they are they're selling a lot okay. they are selling a lot yeah so i we are also proud that uh i did partner with ka uh-huh. uh during jom local event we have about 11 local brands so they are they are getting good result la, yeah okay. so that's the beauty because about brand can look for creator to help them promote the brands yeah i think that's the best this, part do you think this is like the future of malaysian m smes and ms SME, SME, yeah. Uh, micro, micro and SMEs and as well SMEs. If you ask me, yes, I believe so, hundred percent, hundred percent. And anybody can do it from home. I think so too. Okay. I think so too. Okay. I believe every business starts small. Mm. Many of foodie coverage, right? Yeah. Uh, I just cover such pao pao seller. Start from moto je. Mm-hmm. The moto we cover them. We tell the story. Now he has more than s- lima belas oh my god yes. that's amazing so do not underestimate the power of content do not mm. underestimate one video that you make it on tiktok people will really support your story people, as long as it's truthful yeah. sincere people know people support you but as long as the product quality is good yeah okay. i believe so that's the that's the future that, that's the current and that's the future <laughs> but do not uh do not like some some people say oh yeah i missed the boat already no uh-huh. no no I think the future, the run still still massive. Yeah. Don't worry. Start today. Start today. Ah, uh, don't start don't just overthink. Start to cheat the cheap one. Tapo. Tapo. So, but everybody starts small. Okay. Nobody starts like suddenly mm-hmm. can sell so much, right? Yeah. Even like f- through our journey, we have gathered these followers. We we started. If only that time we start. Okay. Luckily, we start. You know, there's always that um joke saying that. Yeah, I have to work now because I didn't start my YouTube channel when I was eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so start now, start now. Always start, start. Sekarang pun tak apa. TikTok is the best thing, best platform to start now. Okay. Yeah. And like with the fast-paced nature and short attention span of people now, yeah. kan? Mm. Like on social media, how do you keep your content fresh and mm. relevant? Yeah. So, I I do agree, right? The platform every ever changing, right? People yeah. get bored certain way, then they really know lah. Yeah. It's about how do you attract. The first three seconds is very important. Yeah. So how food we do is we always show the jangge jangge food, yeah. besa besa food. The first three seconds. That's the hacks that we figure out. That's a secret. Um, oh, for me, I always scroll TikTok. So I see what are the video that sekarang dekat trending. So kita cuma ubah sikit, ubah sikit. We 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 tiru sikit sebab it if they add for for a reason. Yeah. So we try to have our own element in the video. Okay and make it our own style lah. Uh-huh. So that's how I keep the content fresh. So go with uh, TikTok has so many trends, right? Yeah. Um, like I even did the do re mi fa so la ti do that, that kind of content. Okay. So I try to be more relevant to the current audiences. So <clears throat> of course the trend is going to change. If you uh, don't apply today, if you apply today also, it next might change week tomorrow. Da, da, next da, week da. The, yeah. Not even next week. Like, yeah. Tomorrow is my, my team is scroll more. Okay. Not just a uh, local TikTok. I scroll the guy Luan and Grapun. I see what other trend that oh it's booming there. I call mm-hmm. it booming lah. The guy there try to reapply in Malaysia. Okay. Yeah. Or even you do content creator partnership pun. I think okay. that's good. You leverage on other creators punya followers. That's good as well. Okay. Yeah. Then for me, I I try and le- I try and learn. I see why this video FIP. Then I apply more lah. Mm. Okay, Pinyang, I have a question. Yeah. Like, I, g- I guess maybe this is a personal question you got lah. <laughs> like, um, no, I mean my personal question. <laughs> you, you know, like when you do all those, like, uh, I notice a lot of videos you do, you pergi on the streets, so. and then you ask people like questions, and then you not gasi the free gift or whatever lah. How do you like um, choose these people? Is it yeah. all memang random? Memang Kau random. Okay, I tell you my story. Okay. When I set the mission, I want to go out and do social experiment. Uh-huh. Hey, memang, I pun scared. It's not easy. Okay. It's not easy to engage with people and do street interview. Mm-hmm. But now I, I can consider myself already master. Okay. But that time I stand there, look at, you know, Bukibinta. Uh-huh. One hour. 
orang I, tak nak respond. It's always bukan, very bukan. to go and when ask people. When I first people, started, right? I don't dare to ask pun. Okay. Sebab actually, that's why I want to show the the courage to ask. Okay. The courage to ask people to support you. The, then I want to inspire people. Actually, when whenever there's somebody ask you for help, ask you to buy something, respond je. Help, uh-huh. Try to help if you can. Uh-huh. So that I stand there one hour, I holding my my apple tau, I I letak dekat belakang. I just for one hour. Uh-huh. I don't dare to do pun. I hold the balloon. Uh-huh. You can you can ask the balloon seller. He was with me with that. I try to stand on the Is it really hard to sell balloon here? He said, Yeah. Now now time is not right. Okay. Not much tourists. What uh a lot. Of because they know okay. they are really on ground to sell something yeah. there. Yeah. So I just stand back. Then suddenly I approach her. Okay. I get so the 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 bitter sweet is you will see people reject me. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes. Betul. I also want to show it's fine to get rejected. So, but dulu I memang dekat pasar pagi pasar malam. Every single time we 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 try to sell thing, we got a lot of rejection. But it's fine. Rejection is good to have rejection. So I I always when I got a rejection, I, I I'm happy. Because okay. I can show it's not like buru buru orang. Mm-hmm. Just a, that's the nature, right? It's fine. Um, sometimes kita taman pun beli hari tu, so I just show the rejection and I will try to see the aura lah. Okay. Some people I pun takut okay. macam <laughs> sebab I pernah pergi. You don't have consent to shoot me, you know. Yeah. So this is the part that we often people don't know. Like Fudi, kita orang pergi ke interview. He will ask me, boss, why so easy you get interview? Ah, it's not easy, tau. Okay. We always get rejection. I think that's the beauty. That's the beauty of this thing. Yeah. So try to t- talk nicely. We are doing a shoot for for Kiao Fudi. I, I teach uh-huh. them lah. So memang hundred percent kena rejection. Not until now people sudah kenal. Yeah. So now I cannot do that kind of content anymore. People ask me, why no don't have anymore? Uh-huh. So but people sudah tahu. So I will look for people that. Uh, friendly then I I so I tabrani pun I don't dare to ask so I look for people that a hundred percent organic uh-huh. I would just randomly because I love the natural reaction okay. that's the beauty of my content um people really like surprised like like wow what like I want to see the straw no that's the because I know TikTok is inspired joy mm-hmm. great joy right. I want to have the element. What's your like most memorable um, jolo? Mm, jolo. I, I'm sorry, uh, it's a journalistic it's term. So jolo is when we just go and ask people. We put a microphone at the person and ask. Um, so what's your most memorable experience getting content from people when mm. when you were interviewing people? Well, there's so many. So I I think all the posted one are beautiful. I used to do like, I I buy flower from, from one macam dekat Bukit Bintang. Uh huh. So he, mat- so I said, how much? So I tried to ask lah, how much? Yeah. Then she was like, mm, uh, I, if not missing about fifteen ringgit lah. So I said, then I pay him hundred ringgit. Okay. I said, I don't need a flower. I just want to support you. He, then he macam, tak percaya pun. Okay. Macam, it's like never seen this before lah. That kind of like reaction, you know, like he has been there, uh, from in the evening until night. And he, she's just doing part time. Yeah. She just want to find a living for her family. So that's it. So this is a lot. A lot actually. Uh-huh. Malaysia has so many lovely story, right? People are hustling. Yeah. Mm, we to I survive. Survive, right? So, uh, uh, so many, so many lah. Okay. But so many positive side. But also like people like you cannot shoot me. You don't have my permission. What was the scariest situation you've been in? Okay. Um, if you don't delete now, I'm going to take legal action. Okay. That it happened. It happened. But that's true, right? It's a privacy thing. Yeah. So we have to um, admit that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's quite scary lah. But that's true. Um, I think we Malaysian, we have to know we have the rights not to be captured yeah. on in the public. Yeah. Or sometimes some premise, we need permit. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know ma, yeah. right? Yeah. Actually, you need a permit to shoot at a certain place. Yes. So be nice to the owner. Try to apply first. So some of these are the tips lah okay. yeah it's not like because the tempat is not always ma yeah right. yeah betul yeah. okay um like you know uh i think there's a personally for me like media has become social media with the uh emerging i mean it's not even emerging dah social da, media every is single day, yeah part social of media is, is a part of our life mm. so like uh there's a blurred line between mm. like news media and social media content creators okay. i uh, okay content creators in general i guess mm-hmm. like um news media are tend to be like um 
we're obligated by ethics and you know journalistic ethics and stuff so is there like some along is there an unspoken rule for content creators now because unspoken it's, rules. it's like already more than a decade kind mm. like of yeah do you guys are you guys looking into you know because you're friends with ka and uh i will maybe like looking into creating a union ke apa ke? ah so yeah of, of course we we love to for me personally i love to talk to creator Okay. So, but I pun sebagai creator, I know the the up and down. So mm. I selalu belajar d- daripada mereka lah. So for unspoken rule, I think for content creator now, they are very careful also what they publish. Okay. Uh, make sure the thing that they say is correct. So, but this once you publish, you uh. are like no turning back lah. So, yeah. so it's we, there forever, right? the unspoken rule is we we try to see who are we collaborating okay. also very important. So, but some people is like. Um, some maybe some people just want to leverage on your side and we will try to create something untruthful mm-hmm. yeah so we look at we do what what did they do previously yeah the right? branding also matters do some right? do due diligence uh-huh. yeah d- we do that lah. Okay. Mm, so but we have to take care of our image also mm, so exactly. we really a- be extra careful yeah because social media everybody can see oh why uh, yeah but we, we try to be very open as well so but we are all humankind so we try to talk to each other, okay. learn from each other. Yeah, we do that as well. So are you guys looking into more uh, of a professional organization? I am planning to, I think about the MCN. Kan. Ah. So I plan to create my MCN where I connect content creator bersama brands. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, this is the last one before we end. Oh, okay. okay. So like, uh, what advice do you have for uh, those budding entrepreneurs about navigating the ever-changing landscape of the digital media mm. and social media platforms. Okay, okay. Unto, okay, for entrepreneur, let's say you are a brand owner. Okay. I think the best part is you mem- uh, you, you have to really tell your story the guy TikTok. Okay. So for me, I always give tips like you have to start today, but don't care about the view first. Sometimes sometimes people see wow why some other people can get so many views but why why i can't right uh-huh. so my 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 advice is always try to target you do 100 video first 100 video oh, wow. the view. even the view go to 1 million you have to do for the the third fourth and until your 100 yeah. videos right so but this is uh it's not a um, spring it's not 100 minutes spring okay if you build brand, it's a marathon. It's a long term. Uh-huh. We are building. We are honest long term. We are not like okay, one million view. Da no, we are building our products. Um, we are we are on this a long term. So so we have to planning every single day. We have to do some content. The guy fully we publish more than thirty video a day. Okay. The guy across our platforms lah. So uh, if you are not comfortable on screen, you can hire somebody to do it. Hire people that really passionate in the food, uh, in the content. Okay. Yeah. If you are comfortable the best part is leverage on yourself yeah because you are irreplaceable okay nice. and <laughs> people buy your products because of you the trust is there so the <laughs> past so uh, before i i do my personal content at tiktok mm-hmm. i i am like the back end the foodie okay. the past to pe- uh, once af- after that people know wow actually wow or oh, 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 memang lah. Okay, uh, carefully is actually by Pingyang. Mm-hmm. So the trust is there. People come and want to work with uh, Pingyang company. Okay. So the trust is there, and I think people buy a product because of credibility. Okay. Yeah. So you have to really build the trust, show the journey, up and down. Show your pastor. May, may, yes, may I love sales. Share that joy. No sales will share that. Share the challenges. Okay. The document a journey. Okay. This is what I will do. If today I have a brand, I will do that okay. on TikTok. Okay, Pinyang, I know I said last question, but I really want to ask you. Like, um, I think a lot of people would like to know. Like, you said you pergi pasa tani, pasa malam, pasa siang. Yes. Like to help your dad. Yes. Um, what what actually is your uh background? Like, they're pretty kitschy. Like, what's your childhood story? Mm. So, uh, we we live in a seven hundred square feet flat. Okay. My in I I Hitam lah. Okay. So my dad is my is our hero lah. Okay. So my my mom is a suri rumah tangga okay. housewife. So my childhood is like um, we are positive. 
Okay. So my I used to write chita, uh, my my cita cita is like my dad. I I write businessman. Okay. I want to be like my dad. So our childhood is uh every single day I will bring my my brother my siblings. They will go to sekolah kan, so uh-huh. I will bring them back from school. Okay. I will jalan them, then we go back, and I think our relationship is good uh-huh. now. My brother is my co-founder. Uh-huh. My sister is a chiku now. Okay. So whenever we have holidays, me and my brother will follow my dad. Okay. Whenever there's holiday, so I try to, uh, but I had to wake up very early lah, <laughs> four five a.m. Oh wow, okay. Mm. So our childhood weekends ataupun holiday, we will follow my dad around lah. Pergi pasar ini jika tak ada tempat, because okay. it's not consistent. Then we rotate. Okay. We rotate, rotate, rotate. Ah, uh, then when it's a good times. We are we are happy lah. So every morning, we are going to help my dad to set up. So like this is a table, right? So we are set up because we need to display the products. Uh-huh. Then I will help my dad to buy eggs because he is going to cook some eggs. Okay. Because he do demonstration. So we will oh, do popcorns. Okay. We will buy ikan ikan to fry. Okay. So but then I learn I learn how he do. He always say that today I'm not selling. I'm just doing demonstration. Uh-huh. If you want to buy, you can go somewhere else to buy. Wow! Tapi the harga different. Okay. So you you will he will use that technique, you know. Okay. Then then um, after work one two p.m. we will we will deliver the products, cause cause not not all the macam macam. The kapasa ada banyak cash. Okay. So we'll do we'll get take the deposit. I learned so much. Take the deposit and understand. Uh-huh. Then we do after sales service juga. Oh, okay. Uh, then we'll go back and and at night, if my mom didn't cook, we'll go and eat. So okay. that's how my ch- my child looks like. Okay. Like. So I pretty much inspired by my dad to become an entrepreneur. So lah. Okay. Yeah. What what school did you go to? Uh, primary school is SMJ K Koming. Uh huh. Chawan kedua. Secondary school is Chongling High School. Oh okay. Chongling is uh really popular lah. Yeah. So I got seven A's. They got my UPSR. Wow. Okay. And I it's like pre-selected. You are you are going to a, it's a good school in Penang. More like elite. Chongling. Like elite like, like they only. Enroll uh, six seven A's lah. Okay. Mm. So I still remember first day in the class. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Form one, we are we are we are we are select we are like appointing the you know the ketua class. Uh huh. Okay. Then the cikgu ask who got seven A dekat UPSR. Half of the class like everybody <laughs> like so wow this is really like you know challenging lah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's okay. my story. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. That's cool and interesting and inspiring. Thank you. Uh, that's okay. Um, so what? Uh, okay, Hijab. This is really important. Should children be going to school because a lot of people are dropping out and not going for the SPMs? Right. Yes. No. I think. I think. I think. I think. Okay. Dulu. Okay. Last time. Primary school. Okay. I got seventy A's, which means I have. I study hard. Uh-huh. Secondary school. I mean, I love gaming. Okay. I got addicted what to. What games do you play? I play Maple Story. I play uh, FPS game. Okay. I really like. You no, know, in my mind, it's like <laughs> every day I talk about Gamer. games. <laughs> I go to school. I talk about games, right? So then, SBM totally changed. I only got one A. Okay. The pendidikan moral. Oh my god. Pendidikan moral. So much. Like, really hard. <laughs> yeah, I for me it's hard. So because I I didn't study at all. Okay. But. Luckily, I got five credits. Okay. So ngam ngam, I boleh pergi ke Tunggu Abdul Rahman College. Ah, okay. Pinang. Five credits. If I don't have that five credits, I don't think I have today. So, but the cut university, like, macam I terbuka otak. Okay. I like feel like oh, this is my passion. Oh, I I it's not hard pun. Like accounting, the cut SBI fail. Okay. Fail. Okay. First semester, the cut diploma sudah ada accounting. Uh-huh. Tapi I memang go and study se- sebab oh wow okay in a business we need to have accounting so yeah. I try learn I got A my 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 academic dekat diploma pun not bad lah okay, not bad yeah. so I feel like education is really important okay and so thankfully I got five credit I go to diploma and degree and it changed my life lah okay yeah I think student drop if you want to be entrepreneur you have to be entrepreneur that is bijak juga and I think that education help you. Like let's say, let's just say you go to diploma, you have so many assignment. Then that's where you train your teamwork, mm-hmm. delegation, right? And I study marketing, so every single uh, m- weekly we we got to do presentation. S- then that's how I learn about you know uh, public speaking, 
no stage f- uh, fright because it's, it's trained during your academy journey yeah. and you get so many friends you get so many connections right yes. yes no no way no way if I ask me I don't think so it's zero percent that you should I think hundred percent you should stay in school stay in school okay it's the most important thing okay yeah even even if you go to even if you have a company you are hire people people also look up to yeah, uh, yeah your I think qualifications right yes yes okay yes no no way you tell the kids to stay in school yes <laughs> Banya many many of the parents come to me okay and tell me my my kids want to be a content creator I ask them why right I said why la, why la? I want to know why first uh. it's about content creator can make a lot of money so I I, I said that's not not 100% wrong but the kids only saw like the black black belt taekwondo people the success la. the success one uh-uh. but they don't see the blue belt white belt yellow, yeah. yellow belt people so they don't know how struggle some of the micro, micro they are, yeah they're struggling as well right yeah so there's no shortcut la. everything through the hard way one Mm-mm. yeah okay so i hope many maybe many uh parents can show this video to their children yeah 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 don't no no way stay in school 100 <laughs> percent. okay 100 <laughs> right. percent. No okay thank you so much Pinyang, you. for being here at sina daily i hope you we had a good conversation oh my gosh <laughs> it's my pleasure and i enjoy so much okay thank, thank you me. so much okay thank you Pinyang. uh you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed the conversation if you guys have any other questions maybe you could drop a comment so we can talk Good further talk. next time wow can it would be great <laughs> yeah okay uh so everybody please follow our social media platforms you know daily my and you can follow fin- pinyang if you haven't right. i'm sure you have <laughs> okay all right um thank you so much thank and you. see you guys in the next episode see you bye bye